Hey kids and cadets, welcome back to Tommy Time. I had just did a video on 3 for 45 and I told you I was going to tackle this one. This is a 2013 Troy built. The model is the 11 Alpha Dash Alpha 230711. So this thing had a, a fire like I've never seen before and um, I just started hacking and slashing this thing to uh, disassemble it. So where do we start? I had already taken the uh, recoil off. The recoil spring and all this jazz was busted off. We had a bee's nest. You can see the damage here. It kind of melted. We figured out they had thrown sand on it to put out the fire. There's a bunch of sand melted into the plastic. It also melted right above the carburetor. And the sand threw out the um, flywheel and all about the engine. They picked up handfuls of sand and just snuffed the fire out. It must have been Fireman Frank and his friends that did this. So I was able to get the uh, tank off first. I kind of broke some of the melted um, re red recoil to get this off. I thought, oh, it doesn't look so bad here in the front, but there's a huge burn hole here through the back and the whole underside here is melted. Oh, there's another hole I didn't see. So I can imagine that was quite the thing when the fuel started pouring out of this that was on fire. So that shot, I was able to break away some of the uh, melted plastic around the, the screws. I got all the screws out, so this pulled off. This is toast. The um, breather hose here, I just yanked on that. That came apart, totally melted there. What else did I see? Oh, the carburetor. So once the uh, backing plate was off, I just um, used my needle nose and um, pulled all the red plastic that was melted here on the linkages. I just got rid of that, undid the uh, linkages. So it melted here and kind of separated from the, the O-ring. So this is shot. The only thing I can use possibly is the uh, wafers and the stems if I have a broken one. These are still functioning. And maybe the uh, O-ring here and the keeper. And I'll steal the two um, bowl screws. Sometimes I get carbs in. Harvey has messed with them and there's no uh, screws on the bowl. So I'll, I'll remove those. So, we got to put a cable on it. It kind of did a job on that. I um, removed the bracket here just to see if the plastic intake had melted. And it did not. I'm going to reuse that. Uh, first course of action right now is to get rid of the sand. I'll throw a little rag in here. The intake and put the um, plug back in and hose this thing down and then start fresh. I decided to reuse the automatic choke. I think I have a carburetor handy for that. The only thing I gotta do is um, search out a, a new backing plate, which I think I got one of those hanging around. I'm just gonna keep it the way it was and uh, not switch it over to this uh, push bulb priming system. I'll save this for something else. Uh, my scrappers, I keep wanting to say stole. He had to pay for this at the um, scrap yard. He said the, um, I think the deck on this machine where he got this was toast and he asked if he could pull some plastic parts off and he paid for these. So we got another uh, breather tube which I need. And I got to switch the uh, recoil cup to the the um, four chimney and not the four 
pointy. So I ordered um, five or six of these square ones because I'm using up all my extra cups on projects when I'm switching them out to the the um, spring out pauls. I'm running out of those cups so I ordered some of those I think on AliExpress so they should be here in four weeks that's the only thing you gotta um, have patience if you order from them so I think I can get by until those show up in the meantime I'll be able to plow on so I just wanted to show you that the um, plastic came off fairly easy I have um, plenty of these cables in stock. I'll match something up. And uh, this whole thing's going in the trash. I may save the straight pawl, but that looks like it's worn. It's got a couple of grooves in it, so this thing is shot as well. So there's nothing really here I can use. If the rope is not burnt up, which I don't think it is, maybe I can use the... Uh, rope and the handle for another one i don't see any melting going on here so we're probably good on the rope that's the only thing i see here in the uh, hornet's nest that's going to get recycled so there you go quick tear down look at this uh 2013 Troy built quite the thing whoever owned this probably panicked I know I would having a machine burn up on you right in front of your eyes so so there you go I wanted to mention I'll reuse this recoil I kind of followed the um kill wire all the way down underneath up to the um, linkage and I don't feel any burn marks on this I think it was away from the fire on this side and I don't see any melting here or over here on the plastic or the rubber this is going to get reused the issue I would have if the um, wire was burned is that the um, wire would come in contact with the uh, base of the recoil and uh, any little movement could possibly um, ground out the mower randomly. And that would be a pisser, try to decipher that. <clears throat> so you can see it's kind of hitting metal here, but there's uh, the plastic coating is still on it. If that was bare metal, any jumping around would intermittently ground out the um, coil. So you'd be, have to be uh, Steve the Sleuth and figure out why the damn thing is dying out and starting dying out. Okay, I'm going to round up some parts here. Do a little um, scavenger hunt. Try to put this thing back together. As always, please tip your waitress and wait staff. Have a good day. These other two projects will come later. The 2007 Crafty and then the uh, 2017 Honda powered Troy built TB240. Deck shot on this and this is a three-legged dog on the Crafty. Thanks. Have a good day today. Appreciate you stopping by. We'll uh, keep plowing on this Troy built. We're going to make it happen one way or another. See you.